Hello everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to get go into bullet time anywhere. This can be useful for attacking enemies, collecting certain Korok seeds, and even more. I'll be showing four different methods for this, each with their own merit, some more versatile than others. My name is Bill Tendo, let's get into it. The first method I'll be showing you is very versatile and relatively easy to pull off. It requires a bow to go into bullet time of course, and a shield like all the other methods, and an item that you can hold in order in order to perform this. Now to do the trick, you need to shield surf forward. You can do this by moving forward and holding ZL, then pressing X and A either at the same time or one right after the other. Now, once you're surfing forward, you need to press Y to do a spin. And well, in the beginning of the spin, you need to press X and then the plus button to go into the start menu, basically at the same time with X coming just barely before the plus button. And then once inside the start menu, simply hold an item and unpause and immediately hit ZR to go into bullet time. Now I'll demonstrate. Just like that. What you're doing is holding ZL, holding forward, then X, A, Y, and then X and start. Hold an item unpause and hit ZR to go into bullet time and of course pick up your item afterwards Now the second method I'll be showing you requires a shield of course and a square bomb. Now this method is very useful for attacking enemies. In order to perform this you'll need to stand still and then hold ZL to pull out your shield. Then hit X to jump and while in air L to drop a square bomb and immediately hit the A button to shield surf. Then X to jump off the square bomb to get enough height to hit ZR to go into bullet time. Now it should look something like this. Now with this method, I've, I've noticed that you usually don't have as much bullet time as most of the other methods. But it's basically ZL, X, L, A, and then X to jump off the bomb and ZR to go into bullet time. Just like that. I'll show more examples of both all the methods. The timing can be a little difficult, uh, you know, to hit all the buttons. It can be a little tricky, but just practice it and you should get it pretty quick.
Now the third method requires the same things as the second, a shield and a square bomb. However, this method is difficult and dangerous. If you want to practice it, I recommend using the Hylian shield because it can destroy your shield. And if you have an extra Hylian shield or a good shield that has the that has had the durability of the Hylian shield transferred to it, I recommend using it. If you need to know how to do this, I have a guide on how to copy shields and how to durability transfer shields that I will link in the description. Now, in order to perform this, you'll need to drop a bomb in front of you, preferably a square bomb. Then jump forward into the bomb while it is exploding. Then once it impacts with your shield, backflip and go into bullet time. Now the inputs are L to place and place down the bomb, then X while holding forward and immediately press L to detonate once you're in the air, and then hold down on the left analog and put and hit X to perform a backflip while in the air, and then hit ZR to go into bullet time. This is essentially a double jump using the impact of the bomb. This can also be done with the impact of an enemy weapon. You simply jump into the enemy's attack and then backflip to achieve the same result. Of course, with an enemy attack, since you aren't controlling the impact, it's much harder to time. Now, for these, this for me, this method is a bit difficult during combat, and as I've said, it's dangerous and you can break your shield rather quickly, so I only recommend using the Hylian shield, a copy of the Hylian shield, or a good shield with the durability transferred from the Hylian shield. Now, I'll show this method. Now, to demonstrate, you place the bomb in front of you, jump forward, X, and then backflip and ZR. So it'll look like that. Now you can also backflip and place the bomb. Jump forward, explode, ZR, to go into bullet time. For the last method, it is pretty much the easiest method to pull off and only requires a shield and of course a bow to go into bullet time. Now in order to perform this method, you'll need to find a slope of some kind, like the one I'm in front of, like this hill or, uh, or a shrine, basically. Uh, the steeper the slope, the better. Now what you need to do is shield surf from a high spot and go into bullet time and then face the hill or the uh, slope and shield surf on it well in bullet time and make sure you're facing it. Now the inputs are ZL, and then hold forward on the left analog and, and then hit X and A to shield surf forward, then ZR to go into bullet time and turn around towards the sw slope with the left analog stick. Should be like this. Now, as you can see, I fell and got hurt and went into ragdoll. That is extremely common. That's usually what happens. Now, what this does is it basically results in a very specific 
kind of skew, which is a term used in shield clipping to describe the angle you get from shield surfing on a slope that has been transferred to link. Now, if you need more specifics on this, I'll try and find a good guide on skew to link in the description. Of course, now once you have this skew, all you need to do is shield surf in place and then remove your shield well in the animation of shield surfing and hit ZR to go into bullet time and what this does is it gives you a very high bounce and this is also known as a skew bounce which should give you enough height to go into bullet time now there is also a more complicated setup which you in which you make sure you're above the slope that you want to surf on like this and that links facing it and then you turn the camera towards the front of link and towards the face of the slope then you hold down on a left analog and hit jump of course you also need to be holding Of course, you also need to be holding ZR with the shield. Uh, okay, so then hold down on left analog and hit jump to go to jump over the slope. And then hit R to begin throwing your weapon. Of course, don't actually throw it. Then hit ZL and A to begin shield surfing. And then hit ZR to go into bullet time before you hit the slope. Now this makes it a little quicker to face the slope, though it's a bit difficult to pull off in my opinion. I'll, I'll give it a try to see if I can show you. For this last method, the more complicated way, uh, another thing is when you go into bullet time to hit the slope, make sure to either shoot an arrow or only tap ZR so that you just draw your bow but you don't actually pull back on it like this Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more Breath of the Wild tips and tricks in the future. If you have any questions, you can put them down in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them to the best of my ability. Have a wonderful day and thanks again for watching. Until next time, see ya.